All right, in the previous video, we annotated some images for semantic segmentation using the new uh, automatic segmentation tool. And uh, hopefully you saw this was a, a much faster way of doing things than uh, drawing polygons. So if you want to know uh, what your workers did, uh, worker activity is actually logged to, uh, to CloudWatch. So this is the CloudWatch log group you should be looking for. And if I open this, I'm going to see a log file for that specific job. And I'm going to see additional information on uh, you know, which worker accepted which uh, task, etc., etc., and how much time they actually spent. Um, we have a blog post showing you how to use CloudWatch metrics to make this uh, human readable, and I will add it to the video description. Uh, okay, so the job is over. And now if I go to the S3 console, okay, uh, let me go back maybe to the top of that bucket. Okay, we see our initial images here, and we have this output directory. And if we keep clicking down all the way to manifest, okay, we see this output manifest file. So this is what it looks like. Okay, not uh, human readable, but it's not meant to be read by humans. So basically here we see uh, mask information on uh, on the uh, about the annotations that we performed, right? So this is the good stuff, okay? And we see confidence scores. And this is what the machine learning model is going to use uh, to train the model, right? And if we go back up again, Okay, there's a, there's a whole bunch of additional information that's really not meant for us, but uh, that the model will use, right? So all that annotation job uh, information is saved in S3. So the next step would be to uh, check out those um, sample notebooks that are uh, hosted on GitHub. Again, I will put the URL in the description. And these show you how to uh, how to use the uh, the manifest files to train uh, different models. And uh, for example, here we show you how to build image classifiers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And this is a really good uh, next step, right? Uh, once you've uh, played with uh, ground truth a bit, um, you and you have a, a proper image data set laying around, you know, you might want to label it and and start training models. Uh, and these, uh, some of these notebooks actually have data sets for you to, to work with as well. So I would I highly recommend that uh, you actually train models and, uh, and see that it's pretty easy to just dump the, the augmented manifest, as it's called, uh, into, uh, into this notebook and, and train a model really, really quickly. And this goes, you know, this goes to show uh, the, the full uh, A to Z uh, process right from unlabeled data to S3 all the way to a uh, train machine learning model. So I would recommend that you that you look at those. But of course, you know you you have all the information in S3. So if you know what to do with that and you want to train your own, your own code on that, fine, that works too. Uh, you can absolutely do that. Uh, the last thing I want to say is. Um, what if you need to run more uh, annotations? So let's say, um, let's say, for example, now you would want to annotate, uh, I don't know, uh, drummers, right? Not. Um, so you would not have to start again, right? You could just go to uh, to the labeling jobs and select the job uh, that you want to start from, and you can actually chain. Uh, that job, meaning you can actually start another labeling job based on this one. So this uh, this lets you, um, you know, uh, this lets you maybe review or or further annotate an existing job. So that's uh, that's another cool feature. All right. Well, I think that's uh, pretty much what I wanted to tell you about uh, Ground Truth, uh, and I'm looking forward to to the next features. Uh, hopefully this was useful, and uh, that's it for today. Bye-bye.